I know. I thought you were both sitting in. I'm literally just going to the store. I'm literally just going into the store. I'm literally going to the store. You're literally coming to meet a 13 year old for sex. <laughs> Today we have a short one, but that's okay because whether the individual in this video chooses to stay and talk with me or run off, um, they're still a predator. I have his chat logs of him agreeing um, to meet up at the place that he told this alleged 13 year old where he wanted to meet. Of course I'm speaking about Kyle, age 27, from New Glarus, Wisconsin. New Glarus is known for their exclusive beer that they brew at the brewery there. <laughs> Spotted Cow being their most popular. <sighs> Refreshing. This is just iced tea though. But Kyle here is known for being a local dairy farmer. Born and raised, he said to this 13 year old girl. When I told him that I was 13 years old, he wanted pictures of me currently and asked where I lived. That's pretty creepy, but it gets much worse. He asked her how much she weighs. I can tell that he's not very good with women in general. After two days of chatting, he then asked me if I had any plans Friday night. Kyle said when he's done milking the cows that he'll be free all night. Little do those cows know he has sinister intentions with a minor. I gave him an out by saying that my mom would kill me if I uh, hung out with him. He then had this genius idea for me to tell my mom that I'll be at a friend's house and uh, then he'll pick me up and then we would cuddle with or without clothes on. It was up to me so maybe he's not such a bad guy after all. Anyway, I couldn't meet him until Sunday um, and clearly he wasn't taking that out so uh, I told him that I was available to meet on Sunday and he was very down for that. So as I said, we'd only been chatting with him for a couple days and within those couple days, um, the chats did progressively get worse and more inappropriate. He asked for revealing photos, um, he wanted to see what kind of underwear she was wearing, he had asked her if he could watch her play with herself. Yeah, we got to the really bad stuff. Um, he asked her if she was a virgin, if she wanted to lose her virginity, um, and, you know, asked her a lot of questions about masturbation. I don't want to put words in Kyle's mouth. I guess he didn't ask if I wanted to lose my virginity. He asked me if I wanted to lose my virginity. He asked me if I was on birth control. Um, no, but once this video drops, this will be his birth control. <laughs> January 8th, 2023, um, that's when Kyle drove all the way from New Glarus to Fitchburg. We met at the Target. I would say it was about a 30-35 minute drive. 
um, for him. When he pulled in, I had never had this happen before personally, but he took a photo of me. I was sitting at the bench. He took a photo of me from his truck and uh, asked me to come here. He didn't want to get out of his vehicle because he was worried about cameras, he said. He wanted me to come right to his truck, but I wasn't about to do that. I learned my lesson. <laughs> As you guys know, oftentimes I do involve law enforcement. Whatever, you know, so that's, that's what's happening. Trying gotcha. to still send appropriate pictures from an eight-year-old. Um, it's all with fucked, violence. No. I'm, I, I got kids. Yep, do you have an ID on you? Yeah, yeah. sure. I got kids, sir. I, you should know better if you have I, kids. I, I, However, if they are not called on scene, um, all of the individuals are still reported afterwards. When Kyle was done milking the cows, he then met up with me in the Target parking lot. Here we go. I thought you were going to see me. Kyle. Have a conversation with us or we're going to the police. There were cameras. What are you doing here? I just want to talk to you. I'm literally just going to the store. Why really? Did send, why did you send a picture of me? I didn't. I'm yeah, you didn't. You just took a picture of me. Right I'm literally going to the store. You're literally coming to meet a 13 year old for s. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. I'm literally going in the store. Doesn't look like you're going to the store. It looks like you're going in the truck. I'm going in my truck. Alright, that's fine. We're going to be turning everything in. We have everything. All the chat logs, everything. So. Unless you want to talk to us. Stop meeting children off the internet for I'm like literally. I wish it was longer, but with the new terms of service, I was waiting out outside for for a good while. Oh hey, I didn't see you there. I was just practicing my recorder. Got my first recital next week. Oh this, this is my official Courtney Elizabeth hat. This. My official Courtney Elizabeth t-shirt. Oh, this? This is my official Courtney Elizabeth teddy dog. All these products are available for you at CourtneyElizabeth.MySpreadShop.com Here you'll find products like jersey beanies, crop tops, women's polos, and dozens of other clothing and accessory items. There's something for everybody to enjoy, and every time you purchase something, it helps out the channel. Not only are you going to look super badass and cool, but you'll also be helping an amazing cause, because the proceeds always go towards the Courtney Elizabeth channel. I'll catch you later, guys. I'm going to dab out of here. Whoa. Anyway. Uh, when Kyle found out that I was an adult, he clearly did not want to stick around uh, any longer. Even though he did not stick around to talk, I still have him showing up and I have his license plate. It turns out that this was just all a huge misunderstanding and he just came here to shop. Although he didn't go in and buy anything, huh? But seriously, guy. <laughs> My script says guy. Seriously, guy. Kyle is such a serious threat and a very dangerous individual and um, he never cared about the age in the beginning or or now you know uh, the only time that he cared was when he was caught and the fact that he sped off like he did you know that just shows me that he has no remorse and he just wanted to get the butt out of there why did I say that if you know Kyle in real life please don't go up to him don't harm don't harass him leave him alone if you know any more information about this individual please um, you know let me know and uh, you can reach out to me on Instagram or Facebook. I want Kyle to be exposed to his local community. Guys, please be sure to follow me on Rumble. Um, link in the description below. I don't know if you guys heard yet, but I have new merch um, and I think it's really cute and cool and uh, yeah, consider buying some. It really helps 
helps with the channel. Link for that is in the description below. Also guys, um, old news, but some people are still Ko-Fi members. I don't know if you are because you don't care and you want to still support me or what, but my Ko-Fi was nuked and they are still taking money out, so be sure to cancel your subscriptions and switch over to YouTube members, or if you don't care about chat logs and you just want to help support me monthly, um, you can just stay a Ko-Fi member if you want, but I am letting you know that, uh, some people aren't aware of that, and if you, you know, don't want to be on Ko-Fi anymore since my Ko-Fi is nuked, you can cancel your subscription and move over to members or don't. It doesn't matter. Just please make sure to like, share, and subscribe on YouTube. As always, guys, thank you so, <laughs> thank you so much for watching, and please be safe. Bye!